Hi everyone, it's James from Eurovision Island back for a new series of Reviewing 2. Can you believe it? It's been five whole years since the first series of Reviewing 2. No, half a decade. As always, we know that your time's precious, you don't have time to sit there watching reaction videos all day, so Eurovision Island likes to make it as easy as possible, two minutes or less on every single song heading to the Eurovision Song Contest, which is of course coming to us live from Malmö in Sweden. Sit back, relax, enjoy the videos, let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree, just remember, never any hate, just a difference of opinion, and let's be united by music, it's time for the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. Next up we have Australia. Electric Fields, One Milk Alley, One Blood. I was really excited when I heard Electric Fields were going to be in Eurovision. Um, I think they're a fantastic duo. I love the sound they make, that sort of very traditional sound with more modern. A bit like an Australian Kano and I know they've collaborated with each other in the past so I thought, you know, these guys, I really cannot wait to see what they bring to the table. Um, I love, love, love the fact that it's in English and Yakuntiara as well. I mean, the fact that we are hearing an Aboriginal language at the Eurovision Song Contest, that's just brilliant. Huge thumbs up for me. And we have didgeridoo rifts throughout. I mean, why Australia waited this long to put a didgeridoo in Eurovision, I have no idea, but it's just fantastic. Um, I love the fact that the song as well, it's very much electric feels. It's their wheelhouse, what they're good at. It's got that very sort of easy listening feel to it. A bit of a club in there, a bit of a you know, traditional rift, as we've said. These are all really good things. I feel like there is something missing though, and the conclusion I've come to that it's the staging. Certain songs come to life when you see them on stage, and I feel like this is going to be one of them. And I'll be curious to see what they do. I think if they get the staging right with this, then I think it could be a really special moment for the Eurovision Song Contest, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it will be. Now, qualifying from a semi-final. I'd argue in the last couple of years especially, public interest in Europe and Australian Eurovision entries has sort of wavered a little bit. They tend to have very good jury scores, but then when the public comes to score them, they're noticeably lower. I feel like if they stage this well, this could be the one that flips that. And I think having sort of very strong traditional elements in there, like Yakuntiara and Didgeridoo and everything, I feel like that will sort of make people go, oh, Australia, which I know is slightly terrible, but I think this could do very, very well. Um, if it does qualify, I'm not sure it will bring Australia a win, but I think it will be a real talking point of the contest, and I'm just so happy that we get to see these guys on stage because they are amazing, and I'm sure they're going to give us one hell of a show.